Hi there, everyone. I am Nathan Blake, and welcome to my live stream of Earthbound for the SNES. Uh, you're going to see the Elgato logo there for a second, but uh, that's my the capture device that I'm using. So uh, I'm very excited to get in here and get this uh, going. So uh, we're just going to start a new game here, and we're going to go in mono. No, I'm just joking. We'll go in stereo, although I don't know how much of a difference it actually makes. So that's pretty funny. Um, should we go? What color should we go with? Plain, mint, strawberry, banana, or peanut? I'm, I'm okay with any of them. What do you guys think? You, you let me know. Uh, thanks, Skyborgs. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about the number of subscribers that we've gotten at this point. Like, we really picked up in the past little bit. It's, it's super exciting. I really have all of you out there to thank for sharing the videos and stuff like that. So, that's, that's very, very helpful. Um... Strawberry says Super Keenon. Hello, Super Keenon. Welcome to the stream. Also, officially hi to Foxy Wolf and Cryborgs, even though you were here before the the stream actually started. Okay, so we're supposed to name Ness here, and we could go with a classic name, uh, but I'd rather give him something fun and doofy. So, uh, well, let's just name him Moops. Whoops! 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 It always moves around differently than I expect it to in Earthbound. It's all like, doop, 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 whoop, whoop. Um, Oh, and you'll see in the background here, we've got the uh, hot sauce that I've got. Uh, got delivered yesterday for my hot sauce challenge. So that should be uh, pretty awesome. Hello, Silver Lance. Good to see you, sir. Um, so let's see. We shall name her... Uh, what are the other names? I've never... Okay, so Paul is her real name. Nancy, Sky, Paige, Marie, and Holly, Jane. Okay, so let's name her... Uh, uh, I don't know. Just the first thing that popped into my head, actually, was Ivory. So we're just doing it. We're just going to go with it, because I'd rather, rather come up with name than... Uh, and sit here and stare at everything for like an hour and a half. So, uh, let's see. So, if I was to name Jeff something other than Jeff, this is this has always been my my weird uh, smart guy name for any games that I've played. Uh, this is this is the name of, of he's usually a wizard, but obviously Paula is the real wizard in this game. Dross, and then uh, Pooh. I almost wanted to just name Pooh. Uh, so, as Silverlands, I do in fact uh, still have my my uh, beer. However, I have a I, I did trim it a little bit. It's really not quite as, as over the top as it was uh, before. Yeah, if the stream is laggy or problematic, let me know. I'll try to change some of the settings. Uh, it says it's healthy on my end, so that's that's the information uh, that I have. All right, we're going to name him Poop, all capital letters. And then our dog's name is Suit, but with zeros instead of O's. So, yeah, it's going to be good. All right, our favorite homemade food. Okay. Okay, let's see. Let me see if I can. Uh, the stream might go offline for a second. Unfortunately, I can't uh, adjust it really without shutting it off. So, give me one sec. Okay. Let's see if that's any better. Um. <laughs> I doubt it's the best stream because you didn't see my last stream. The one that no one else saw, the one that you couldn't see, that, that was the best stream. That was the best stream ever. Um, so, hopefully, that's a little bit better. Uh, any better? There's always far too many issues with the stream. Maybe my internet's just not looking for streaming. Maybe that's my problem. Well, it did stream out pretty well uh, early on in my channel, so I didn't think it would be a problem. This 
Okay, so hopefully this has solved something. I'm, I'm hoping that maybe this, this had something to do with it. Is it any better? <laughs> That's better, okay. So what it was is that I had my, my Elgato running through a, an extra USB port uh, which was still 3.0, but apparently it just didn't like it. It has to be the main one on the front. Uh, the, yeah, the stream does not know the way. <laughs> okay, so now we've got that nipped it at the bud. I apologize that it did start off so rocky, but we're going to go from here. It's going to be great. We're, it's, I, I know it's going to be awesome. And uh, San Pedro says, I'm called Nathan. Get your own name, loser. I do have my own name. And it's Nathan Blake. So nice to meet you, San Pedro Nathan. Um, so okay. So I think think we're good to go now. So our favorite thing is uh, do, 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 let's see. Uh, our favorite thing is no. Our favorite thing is no dying. We're not gonna die. <laughs> okay. All right. Good, 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 good. All right. Uh, let's see. So now we can get started. Welcome to the Earthbound stream. I apologize for how awful everything was. Um, the year is 1990X, clearly. It's clearly not. It's been a long time since 90X. I remember 90X. 90X was a bad year. Do you remember 90X? It was rough. Aliens came. Everybody died. Well, almost. On it, a small town in Eagle Land. Did you guys pronounce it on it or won it? <laughs> because I I feel like that's a, an important distinction to be made, to be sure. Also, uh, let me know if the sound levels uh, are good. Like, do, do we need more sound on, on game or Moops' house? <laughs> My name was Moops. <laughs> uh, so, let's see what's happening here as Moops dreams lately. So, uh, has everybody here in the stream seen Earthbound before? Um, because uh, that's, that's an excellent question for how I should approach this. Like, should I, should I be uh, trying to get the full experience, or should we just be trying to get action? What do you guys think? Hey, bro. Did the sound wake you up? Were you freaked out? I just realized that uh, my face is covering part of the text. I can still see it if I look down at the, uh, at the Wii gamepad. So I'm also in front of Here, maybe if I play like this, I'll just be staring into your soul the entire time. There's a cracked bat inside. Moops takes it. It's really strange to play on a Wii U because, because, you know, the controls feel out like there's a supposed to for a Super Nintendo, but there's a screen in the middle of the controller. It's real weird. What was that noise? Loops, you don't seem scared. Are you nuts? And now you want to go check it out? Well, okay. You sneak out of your room and make it if I ask you not to. At least you can have to me before you go. <laughs> well, I wanted to rob my sister's room super keen on. I needed that crack bat. You will see soon enough how I'm it is for us to have one. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. I can't remember for sure. It has been a long time. I can't remember if I can actually wait for the items on the screen. I was super surprised how smooth and nice everything feels on the Wii gamepad. Like, as far as, uh, nice humans did not sleep at night. I also didn't sleep at night. Why aren't you doing this? Like, <laughs> uh, like, the controls feel really nice. So, it's really smooth. It, it, Surprisingly, so uh, the diagonals even feel it. Our turn on the road is low. Most people are taking uh, the, the meteorite situation too seriously. So I will check out the sign over here says South to Suburbs of Unmet. Alright, so now I will just move on. So I say the control state is good. Uh, and then I like, I keep not turning on the right. I mean, because maybe I'm wrong. Like, 
Okay, so that one said audio streams. Uh, okay, it, it says that the health is good, but check audio settings. Audio streams current bit rate is lower than recommended. So how do I get it up to the recommended bit rate? I don't. There's no settings for audio bit rate on here, which is kind of the worst. There are audio settings, none of them are for bitrate, they're for, like, sound level. So... Okay, you're hearing me okay again. Okay, all right. Okay. So maybe, maybe that fixed it. Maybe that was the problem. I, I rejiggered a couple of settings, and now it looks like maybe it's better. So... If you guys are still up for a little more, I'm up for a little more. <laughs> I'm just gonna tweet out real quick and let everyone know that I believe the issues have been fixed. Okay. All right. Let's do this then. We're going. We're 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 ready. So, won't you help me find Picky? Yes. Okay, good buddy. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Before we go, why don't you say goodbye to your mom? Don't you agree, ma'am? But what if I wanted to just be a derelict child that just literally ran away from home and his mother didn't know it? I know that. The dog is unreliable, but you should take S00T along. He's actually an android dog. The crack bat in Tracy's room could help out at a time like this. Wait, you mean father's heirloom bat that no one's allowed to touch? You're a courageous boy. Strong. You're my very own natural born fighter. You'll go far. Remember to go for it. But I think you should change out of your jammies before you leave. I wonder if there's a... Uh, or rather, not I wonder. I, I wish there was a way to play the entire game in your jammies. I feel like that would be... Uh, be the way to go, honestly. Okay. All right, we're better. We're better. I think I think everything's good now. I don't think we're gonna have any more problems. Okay. Do you want me to go along with you? Yes. Guess I don't have much of a choice. Okay. S 0 T joins you. All right. All right. You go out in front. I'll fall at a safe distance. Let's get going. More? More what? More problems? <laughs> Moops, answered the phone. Hello, it's your dad. Work to exhaustion when you're young. Have you ever heard of a weird saying like this? Just remember, I'm always behind you. 100%. Don't be afraid. I know that you're brave. You can do it. Don't forget to call me periodically during your adventure. I can make a record of your progress when you call me. Oh yeah, I deposited $30 into your bank. Do you have your ATM card? Withdraw your money from any cash machines and buy whatever you need. Hello, Adam! How's it going? Good to see you. <laughs> Glad the stream is better now. It was so broken. So very broken. You would not believe how broken. Uh, but now it's okay. And, and we're going to be beating the crap out of some birds with some baseball bats. So, you know, what could possibly go wrong? Um, the thing that I love about Earthbound is, is that it just kind of flew in the face of all the conventional wisdom of RPGs at the time. Just everything was, uh, you know, everything from the menus all the way to the way combat works is it's just a little bit different than than most of the RPGs of the time, as well as, obviously, the uh, aesthetic is completely different. Man, I took a beating in that fight. That was a, a strangely difficult fight for the very, very first in the game. Yes, the, the clip you sent me of uh, Super Keenon said, the, uh, what did you think of the clip of it? I thought it was hilariously nightmarish, the clip concerning the stream's issue, that is. Yeah, uh, Super Keenon, like, actually sent me a video of what it was doing, and it was awful. It was like, the video was, 
I ate, and then the sound was like. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so now it's better. It's a lot better now because there was like two settings that apparently have the power to ruin everything in my Elgato, and they haven't been a problem before. Um, or at least, uh... Oh, so Adam has never seen any Earthbound before. Okay, so Adam Lyle just said, gonna be honest, I've never watched him play this game before, I've been curious about it for a while. Uh, Earthbound, uh, is actually a sequel to another game called The Mother, uh, which was only ever released in Japan. Um, but it's fairly unrelated, except for in style and themes. Um, so the, the basic story of the game up to this point, uh, Adam, since you have not seen it, uh, is uh, pretty much just that there was a meteorite that crashed near the house and we were going to investigate it because uh, our neighbor's little brother uh, allegedly got lost up there. And I'm going to die. Literally going to die right now. So, I, I was just not paying any attention, and... <laughs> okay, there we go. That was close. It was close for a second there. <laughs> so, um, but there's a few things that Earthbound did differently than pretty much any other RPGs up to that point, which was uh, everything from the aesthetics, as you can see, which are, uh, you know, we're not wizards and knights. We're kids with baseball bats and psychic people, uh, which is really, really interesting. Um, and then, like, it's just got these these adorable, like, bright, colorful uh, sprites. And uh, even the fact that the other characters are following behind you as you move around is actually kind of, like, strange for an RPG, at least in the, at that point. Um, and then also, uh, oh, if I knew it was going to be such a scary place, I wouldn't have come along. I'm out of here. Uh, so, uh, but also just... It's just got this really goofy nature to it. Like, this, it just loves to have fun. Ah! Oh, you woke me up. Pokey, I've been looking all over for you. You see, Pokey got scared and ran away. Well, I'm glad that you're okay, at least. Let's go home now. I bet Mom and Dad are worried sick about us. Jeez, sometimes I wonder which one of us is the real big brother. So, uh, not only is it just, though, that we're not knights and wizards, but our enemies are completely different, too. Like, there's there's everything from, from stray dogs and stuff to literally hippies. Hippies that you beat until they come back to their senses. <laughs> do you hear a buzzing? That sounds like a bee flying around. No, I do not. Oh, come on, you must hear it. I do not, in fact. Yeah. Yeah, Super Keenon says that he forgot Ness got psychic powers so early. No conceit for just powers. Yeah, you, the first time you gain a level, you gain the ability to magically heal yourself through brain power. A B, I am not. I'm from ten years in the future, and in the future, all is devastation. Gigas, the universal cosmic destroyer, sent all to the horror of eternal darkness. However, you must listen. Where I am from, there is a well-known legend that has been handed down from ancient times. Listen to this music. It says when the chosen boy reaches the point, he will find the light. The passing of time will shatter the nightmare rock and will reveal the path of light. You see, it is in my opinion that you are that boy, Moops. This I believe. Gigas' monstrous plan must have been set in motion somewhere on Earth. If you start to confront the enemy d immediately, you may have time to counter the evil intentions of Gigas. Three things are of the utmost importance. Wisdom, courage, and donuts. Oh, oh sorry, friendship. That, that's my list. Those, those are the most important things to me. <laughs> the legend from the ancient times tell of three boys and a girl who defeat Gigas. I will tell you mo one more later. Go now, and do not be anxious about the future. You have much work to do, Moops. Did you listen to what I told you? Yes, I did. Thank you for listening to my long story. You are as exceptional as I expected you to be. He's also one of those characters that can totally just, like, keep keep uh, you in one of those constant loops of you accidentally saying the wrong thing and him just continually talking forever. Uh, let's see. Adam Lyle says, The first I think I ever heard of this game was after I played Super Smash Bros., uh, Melee on the GameCube, and I was trying to find out more about Ness. Super Keenan replied, Smash Bros. was where I first hear heard about Ness 2. I had seen Earthbound before at my local rental shop that dates this sighting, huh? 
but didn't know anything about it, just that it had a huge box. Earthbound came packed with a strategy guide in the U.S. because the localization team determined it was too hard to beat without it. I refute that because the first time that I heard about Earthbound was whenever I played it at my grandparents' house. They used to buy old game consoles at garage sales and, like, big lots of, of old games at garage sales. And, you know, they were constantly finding things that that, you know, were kind of rare at a garage sale because it was just a bunch of old people out in the middle of nowhere selling stuff. And so they had Earthbound, and I played it at their house, and it was awesome, and I really, really loved it. And so I eventually uh, borrowed it from them, and then I eventually traded them uh, the Mario uh, All-Stars uh, for it because they wanted to play all the old Mario games. And, yes, my grandparents, they're in their 80s now, so I'm not like – it's not like I'm the, the, the oldest of my family and I have young grandparents. This, this is – I have, I have 80 year old grandparents that, that still to this day play a little bit of Mario and stuff. But anyway, uh, they I traded the Mario All Stars for it, brought it home, started playing it, and it was awesome. It was one of the best games that I have ever played in my entire life, and it was one of the very first games that I committed and actually went through and actually eventually beat. Um, so. That's, that's how that happened. Uh, three boys, he said. Uh, I'm not one of those three, am I? Because I'm not into this kind of thing at all. Jeez, my heart is almost pounding out of my chest. So, that's more or less the story of how I got into Earthbound and why I say that it is not too difficult without a strategy guide because I didn't even have the internet back then. Not really. Moops, buddy, I have something to tell you and only you. Come visit me later alone. Um, oh, and I don't know if, if you guys probably couldn't hear. Mario enthusiast grandparents are rad grandparents. That's what Super Keenon says. Yes, uh, they loved Mario, and uh, they actually taught me a lot about how Mario works. Like, I can still remember whenever my grandpa was explaining to me how hitting on one side of the box or the other in Super Mario World would make the mushroom that came out of it, you know, out of the, the question mark box, make the mushroom move to one side or the other. It's been a long time, Buzz Buzz. You've been successful at foiling Master Gigas' plans. But, Buzz Buzz, you must now surrender. You're no longer a hero, but just a useless insect. I'll stomp you hard. So I never actually paid attention to that whenever I was younger, but I'm actually curious at this point. Is it possible that Buzz Buzz is, was a normal person and was had to be sent back in time as a b bee because of... Uh, you know, time travel, what's he use it? I don't know. You know, it could, could have been anything. Mm, 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 mm. Uh, so, Adam, you will notice uh, in this fight that it's clear that I would not be able to do this fight at all without Buzz Buzz because uh, that shield that he put on us at the first of the fight is the only reason that I didn't just die, literally. And also, whenever I hit this guy... Uh, if I even can hit him, I do like four or five damage. Uh, even on a crit, I believe you only do like 12 damage. And Buzz Buzz, on his turn, uh, you'll see, yeah, he does 62 damage. So this this uh, is really interesting because uh, Starman Juniors here are actually regular bad guys at a later point in the game uh, whenever you're on a much higher level. So this game does a really cool thing about like kind of making bosses from early points in the game like regular bad guys as you continue along, which not only is, is neat. Ah, I got a smash attack for 18 damage. So that's, that's what the criticals look like in this game, which is another really interesting interesting thing they went for like you know like flashy stuff uh in ways that other rpgs just hadn't done oh my gosh buzz buzz did 103 damage <laughs> you won moops gained 16 exp moops level is now three office went up by one defense went up by one guts went up by one vitality went up by one iq went up by one maximum hp went up by 12 e gets maximum pp went up by three <laughs> Uh, whew. He came from ten years in the future to kill me, so we can't relax yet. From now on, you'll be fighting enemies sent by Gigas, as well as humans who have evil thoughts. They'll definitely make trouble during your adventure. Animals are also becoming violent, due to Gigas' influence over the evil in their minds. It is the truth, so listen. Okay, so now we drop off the other boys at the neighbor house, and that's whenever we should be getting into the real parts of Earthbound. Uh, where in Sam Hill have you boys been? I have to think of a suitable punishment. Let's go talk to the dad. 
I'm really sorry that my kids troubled you so much. Both of you are really going to get it now. Last time I played this, I thought, you know, I always thought Pokey's dad was kind of a jerk, but maybe Pokey is just awful, and so he seems like kind of a jerk. And then this part happens. By the way, I would be happy if you left sometime soon. I'm tired of your family living next door. We've loaned your father a lot of money. It may have been $100,000 or more. Well, I guess it really could have been less. But because of the loan, my family and I now live in poverty. I, I don't think that that's true. I don't think he lives in poverty. My husband is much too lenient with the children. Oh, well, nice guys finish last. That's the story of our life. And here Buzz Buzz is getting into her hair, if you notice. Hey! I think it's a dung beetle. I'll smack your guts out. <laughs> uh, Super Kidian says, humans with evil thoughts, like hippies. And one of the biggest bummers of the game, impending. Yep, Buzz Buzz, Buzz Buzz going down. One of the saddest things that happens in the entire game. Ah, yes, I was much weaker than I thought. So you must now begin your adventure. See you. Oh, I just remembered. Listen to my final words. <laughs> to defeat Gigas, your own power must unite with the Earth's. The Earth will then channel your power and multiply it. There are eight points that you must visit. Make these places your own. Each of these locations is your sanctuary. One of them is near on it. It is called Giant Step. Go there first. Do you understand? Yes. All right. You are a very intelligent young man. And, oh, the pain. Everything is getting dark. Huh. Uh, yes! Before I pass on, I want to give you something. It is the soundstone. You can record the melodies from the eight your sanctuary locations into this stone. It is an awesome item. By the way, I'm almost gone. But did you want to hear the story one more time? No! <laughs> Good. It's already dawn outside, but it doesn't matter to me. I'm fading fast. Uh, yes! <gasps> so we got Moops at the soundstone! A very important item it is. Pretty much the most important item, really. Like, there's very few MacGuffins in this game. Uh, and that is one of them. For sure. And now we get into the real stuff. Listen to this music. Oh, yes! I forgot! Fuzzy Pickles! Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius, if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready, say, Fuzzy Pickles! Wow, what a great photograph! It will always bring back the fondest of memories. <laughs> get ready for more stuff like that. This game's weird. I'm not even joking. You're back! Don't bother yourself with talking now. You look too tired. Mothers understand these things. Eat some bagels and scoot up to bed. <laughs> Super Keenan says he loves him, and I would have to agree with that wholeheartedly. I love crazy photography man. Uh, <laughs> crazy photography man is one of the best things in the entire game. Ugh. Actually, that's really kind of an over overstatement. Or I'm over-exaggerating that, really. Oops, it's your dad. I deposited $37 into your bank account. Taking away what you've spent, you should now have $67 in the bank. Well, EXP to get to the next level. Moops, 17. Anyway, what do you want to... What do you need from me? Record! All done. Your dear old dad was also thinking about hitting the hay for the night. I have created a record of your adventure to this point. Good night. Sleep tight. Continue. Moops, you like to work hard, just like your mother. But I don't think it's good to work too hard. Click. Beep, beep, beep. Love how my dad is all like, you're going to save the world. But, uh, you know, take it easy. Don't try too hard, man. Come here, dog. You engage the runaway dog. Smash! 27 HP of damage! <laughs> you won. Moops gained 4 EXP. This game just has some of the best music in the entire world. On it, public library. Use the library more. A library is a nice place to learn stuff. I got a lot of info about Earthbound. You can borrow maps for nothing. Oh, that's right. Earthbound is an actual game within the game. Like, we keep hearing rumors about the Earthbound game. Hi, 
Kids can borrow only maps of this library. Do you want to borrow one? Yes, here's a map. On it isn't the only thing on the map. All the info is there, except for the info that isn't there. <laughs> this item contains all of the information in the world, except for the information that it does not contain. How convenient! <laughs> you know the X button's located near the top. Ha ha ha! Moop's got the town map. Uh, Super Kenon says, On it blew my mind back in the day. It's a, such a huge area with lots to explore. It also looks like a town. Games can look like things? Maps only. This is a dubious library. <laughs> yeah, it was really crazy that, uh, like, they paid such attention to detail and such attention to, uh, I mean, there's cars driving around on the street. Uh, and you can dig hamburgers out of trash cans. <laughs> uh, they just they just put in so much real effort into it. Uh, you know, towns back in the day on RPGs were usually uh, you know five or six buildings, and you know they were set up on a grid, and the grid was was just a square, and that was pretty much it. But if you look around this game is a it's at a it's a much closer camera angle than you see in a lot of games but they're just random houses and even random houses you can just walk in a lot of times and just bother the people in their houses city hall is to the east you know where the sun rises and that's the whole point of this guy was just just to say like where the city hall was and stuff like that and so it's just it's just amazing the amount of detail and effort that they put into this game comparatively to to a lot of RPGs. And then they made everything else fun too. It's not like they didn't focus on the story or didn't focus on the gameplay or anything. I moved here from the way, away, away ne next town. In the next town, there is the, what is the name? Ah, Poly Polar Star Preschool. The preschool is at Ivory's house. Ivory uses, what is it called? Uh, magic? No, Ivory does not use magic. That is part of the the uh, interestingness of this game. So, uh, so we're we're supposed to find our sanctuary, which I actually don't remember offhand how you're supposed to figure out where the sanctuary is. But uh, what you're supposed to do is find out from the leader of the sharks. Open soon. Mock pizza on it branch. So. Moop stuck around in the trash can. Well, let's see here. There's a can of fruit juice inside. Moops takes it. Let's see what this guy has to, has to say. Do you want to start a fight or what? And now we're in a fight. You engage the skate punk. I actually don't know if I'm a high enough level yet to fight the sharks. Um, I used to have a pretty good idea of like how strong I needed to be before I could come after a shark. And I think, okay. <laughs> Uh, Super Cannon says the dialogue is weirdly well localized for the time and funny. People have trouble translating humor to this day, and they nailed it with Earthbound. Yeah, that was a big thing about it is is that it is really well translated and constantly funny. And uh, like he says, even now uh, playing some games, uh, the humor is lost uh, just from translation. So it's it's a crazy big deal that uh, they managed to keep the game funny. Uh, oh, crap. It's also really interesting. You can actually see the bad guys you're fighting on the screen. And they actually can move in and join the fight as you go along. So, oh, gosh. Oh, no. There we go. So, quick question. I know that he's in the series, but which game has Lucas in it? I only know of him from Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Lucas is in from is uh, in the Mother 3, which was also never localized. There are three Mother games... One, two, and three. The second one is referred to as Earthbound. And they never localized any of them but Earthbound, even though it was pretty beloved. They were even planning on making one for the N64 and bringing it over, but it just never got the, uh, it just never got done. They just, uh, you know. I broke the fourth wall. I'm so sorry, Super Keenon. I know I pulled up the, the menu. I didn't even know how to pull up the menu, though. That was a complete accident, so... Okay, I got, I've got to beat these guys up really quick and hopefully not die in the process. And if that guy keeps missing, then then maybe I can do it. No, no, not a Pogo Man Jr. This is not going to end well for me. <laughs> oh, I died. <laughs> Moops, it looks like you've got your head handed to you. So, how about giving it another shot? Moops decided to return after summoning all the courage and energy he had. Good luck! 
yeah, so really I should have uh, spent a little more time grinding uh, back home uh, with some of these animals and at least gained one more level. I should have bought some equipment before fighting, uh, but I was just so excited to get in there and go ahead and start. Yes, Tyron, it is finally fixed. I apologize about the horrible mess that the stream was when I first started. I, I, I yeah, my bad, man. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I am, I am such a failure. I too hate me. So, uh, let's go ahead and check our status really quick. Uh, we need one XP for the next level, so let's kill this bird. Let's just beat this bird unconscious and gain some, gain a level. <laughs> It seems like something that a, a normal, like, how, how old is Ness supposed to be? Like, like, I get the feeling that he's supposed to be, like, 10 or something, but is he younger than that? Smash attack! Woo! I won. And now, oh, the enemy left a cookie. We're level four. Oh, baby! Offense went up by five. Guts went up by two. Oh, baby. Luck went up by three. Maximum HP went up by three. Maximum PP went up by two. Moops realize the power of Hypnosis A. Ooh. So, that's super fun. Yeah, that level is really going to, to help us. Uh, super Keenan says, do you remember that they weirdly translated Mother 1 uh, after all these years and brought it over the Wii U? That's given a lot of people hope that they may do Mother 3 the same i forgot they did that finally that is yeah i need to i need to get that actually because i i never actually would have got around to getting it and playing through it i i've i've played uh emulations of it before uh but they always have weird problems like with weird things with like the mapping working improperly uh like the bitmaps like loading improperly and stuff so parts of the parts of the scroll for the bitmap was on one side when it should have been on the other side. It was really weird. It was really weird. So, anyway, yeah, that's that's that. Uh, I'm sure that's I'm sure that was a, an interesting and uh, helpful thing for me to randomly go off on about. But anyway, <laughs> so we're way stronger now. Like like specifically, strength level is way higher. So I actually think we probably can take on uh, the sharks now. But we need to go to the drugstore first and buy some equipment. That is something that I definitely did not do. Woof woof. I'm Rafini the dog. I'm being possessed by the spirit of the game designer. Ruff. Do you see the window showing HP and PP at the bottom of the screen when you go to the store that has equipable items? This window will either flash, look normal, or become blank. If you are allowed to equip an item and it is stronger than your current item, the window will flash. If the item's power is equal to or less than your current equipped item, the window looks normal. If you can't equip the item, the window is black. Ruff, I thought you'd like to know. Now it's time to become a regular dog again. <laughs> I love Earthbound so much. <laughs> uh, all right, let's withdraw some money so that we have enough to uh, buy our equipment because um, we definitely want to be doing better than we were last time. Hello there, may I help you? Bye. Can I get you anything? Cold remedy. Okay, definitely don't care about the cold remedy like at all at this point in the game. Hi, come in, come in. What can I do for you? Bye. Okay, so uh, if I remember correctly, yo-yos... Uh, are cheaper but have way worse accuracy so we definitely don't want the yo-yo so we're going to go ahead and equip that uh sell our crack bat for nine dollars thanks a bunch do you need anything from me yes uh we're gonna buy the oh uh, we don't have enough money for the cheap bracelet and we actually don't need the baseball cat because i know how to get a better hat or at least they're on par hat i can't remember if it's actually better whoops 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 we want to deposit because uh, whatever money you have on... Oh, how did I get Earthbound? Uh, I actually bought it for uh, the Wii U. Um, so I was, I was going to try to emulate it. But it uh, turns out whenever they released it on uh, the Wii U, they actually like went really, really hardcore on stopping any emulations of it. And you can't find it as an emulation anywhere, which the only reason I was going to do that, I normally don't emulate anything. But I, uh, I 
personally own Earthbound, so I was like, well, this doesn't seem that crazy. I just don't know where my cartridge is right now. Hey, I know your hard-earned cash is important to you, but you should call your mom. She's probably got an ulcer from worrying about you. Uh, so Super Keenan says, wow, leave some money in your accounts. Don't you care about protecting yourself from overdrafts? There is no such thing as overdrafts in 1994, Ian. <laughs> Okay, uh, so let's head up this way. We're going to try to get a hold of uh, a hat. Uh, oh, up, it's up the other way. Get a hold of a better hat than the one that we're currently wearing. Uh, because, or actually, we're not currently wearing a hat. Uh, so we'll see about that. And then we should be strong enough to fight the sharks. And then, oh, here's one of the fun things. Of, hey, hey, hey. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah, if your guts are high enough and your stats are high enough in general, then fighting weak enemies, they literally just explode, which is really awesome. Um, one of the interesting things, too, is that if you get a bad guy from behind, then that swirl is green, and you get, like, a... Uh, you get to attack them, like, catch them off guard, and you get, like, an ambush attack on them, which is really cool, and it increases the chances that they just go splat and disappear whenever you hit them um so that's super super cool i'm getting really strong now like really strong so all right we're doing so much better than we were a second ago uh super Keenon says moops is financially irresponsible and tyron says uh yep <laughs> i am not your enemy i am simply your average run-of-the-mill mole would you like some hints on fighting enemies? Yes, listen carefully. My hint involves which way you are facing when a battle with an enemy occurs. If you allow enemies to approach you from your back or side, they will get a surprise opening attack. When they approach you from this way, your TV screen, no, no, I mean the world in front of you, you will show a red swirl or for a second. On the other hand, if you approach an enemy from the back or the side, you may get a surprise opening attack. In that case, your TV, oops, again, the world in front of you shows a green swirl. The point is, try to fight so that you always have the advantage. Again, just a great example of this game. Uh, a, showing you information in a goofy, fun way. But also, uh, like, the localization not, like, ruining it. Oops, I'm doing watch out duty for the, for the hideout. Can you take over? Yes, just kidding. Being watch out is my job. Uh, where is it? There is right in here a way that you can ah here we go there we go we're in the secret hideout now i'll give you my mr baseball cap i know you wanted it for a long time it's the best cap for someone really brave like you moops got the mr baseball cap i had a dream about you and you were traveling with a cute girl the dream comes true say hi to her for me after all i'm single and you're also like eight <laughs> you've grown since i last saw you you're beginning to look like a man you're so cool i I think I really like you. Well, you know what I mean. <laughs> no, I, I actually don't don't really know what you mean. I'm, I, I'm, yeah, I'm not 100% sure on that. Okay, so we have successfully gotten ourselves a Mr. Baseball cap. So our defense is way higher now than it was. At this point in the game, six defense is, well, as you saw, a, a major increase. An increase by 200%. So... We had trouble a minute ago whenever we were fighting the uh, sharks, but we won't this time. And I just remembered something. I remembered a little bit of information about how we actually find out what we're supposed to be doing. Um, whoops, 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 whoops. Ah, I stepped out and back in. Hmm, not sure if I even went into this hideout. Yeah, the, that hideout is actually something I discovered much later uh, on my second playthrough of the game. Um, and it's, it's really neat. Um, and it makes a little bit more sense uh, once you get to Magic Hand Land and you see that kid and he gives you a Mr. Baseball cap again and the Mr. Baseball cap is useless. It's because it's supposed to be one of the first things that you get in the entire game. Lots of snakes and stray dogs around on it. Is the mayor going to let them just run around doing whatever they want? I'm here to protest. Well, uh, protest away, sir. Where, where, are your, where is your, your sign? The mayor's office is on the second floor. You need an appointment before you visit. I'm going to have to stop you if you try to see the mayor. Okay, I thought the mayor told us that we needed to go deal with the sharks for him, but I think it's the other way around. I think we deal with the sharks, and then the mayor is willing to work with us, so. Uh, Dave Minecraft's animation. Ha, so you're playing Earthbound. I wasn't expecting this. <laughs> yes, sir, I am playing my... Uh, I'm playing Microwaves. Yes, Dave Microwaves, I am playing Earthbound, which is one of my all-time favorite games. You, you stay back, bad guy. 
All right, let's see if he can if he can take some of this. Ah, I dodged. Yeah, you just keep hitting me. I'll get my turn soon enough, and then you will feel my wrath. That's 24 damage is almost as much as we were doing with our smash attack before we leveled up that once and bought new equipment. So that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with where we're at now as far as, like, ability goes. Okay, let's get this one. I was hoping I could get to him and fight him from behind, but the building got in the way. It was unfortunate. Yes, man, Junior! Ah, smash attack! That's good, because he might have been able to kill me on his next turn, so that's awesome. Ah, I just I just love everything about this game. Everything from the the visuals to the sound... Just pretty much everything. Yes, we caught him from behind. <laughs> Aha! He missed, and now he's unconscious! Bam! Moops gained 15 experience. The enemy left a present. Inside the present, there was a hamburger. Moops took it. Yeah, I'm just gonna... <laughs> you know, I, I never really questioned it because it's a video game. But now that I really think about it, I'm like beating the crap out of guys and then like robbing them for their hamburgers in their pockets which is kind of ridiculous on multiple levels like the level of why would i eat that hamburger the question of why is it okay for me to do this level five defense went up by one vitality went up by one iq went up by one maximum hp went up by 12 maximum pp went up by three boom okay let's see are there no more sharks up here where are the sharks? I'm the biggest fish in the sea now, and I'm gonna take care of the sharks. Oh my gosh. Okay, good, it didn't let all of them in. I was like, four? I don't know if I could take four, in all honesty. All right, we're gonna start with the skate punk, because he can call for help, or at least calls for help more often than uh, the Yes Man Jr. does. I don't remember if they can all call for help or not. Also, if he shreds fiercely with his uh, skateboard, it gets pretty bad, so. Shreds fiercely with his skateboard! Moops gained 25 X EXP. The enemy left a present. The present is a bag of fries. Moops cannot carry any more stuff. Do you want to throw something away? Yes. What do you want to throw away? I can't believe I'm already full on things. I have so many cookies! <laughs> Throw away the cookies. Throw away the cookies. Okay, so we're going to try to get this guy. I was hoping to grab him from behind, but I was unable to. So uh, let's get Yes Man Jr. this time. Ow. Okay. I should be able to survive one more turn. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Okay, so now... Ah, oh, dang! Ah, poop! <laughs> well, poop. I tried a little too hard. I should not have tried as hard as I did. I was, I was certain that I could, I could get my life up A out before he could kill me. But, uh, I didn't. I guess I should have started with the Poco Man. Is Pogo Man more da dangerous than Yes Man Jr. in your opinion, viewers? What do, what do you think? I mean, I mean, they're all pretty dangerous. You know. Also, I bet, imagine they're all, like, pretty old teenagers to be beaten up on this little kid. So, that's kind of unfortunate. $200 in the bank? Boom! Well, that's good, because uh, now with the level that we're at, we should be able to go grab the cheap bracelet and then go actually fight the boss. So we'll go to... <laughs> uh, Super Keenan says, Ness is a real delinquent when you get down to it. Dave Markway says, yeah. Uh, Super Keenan says, serves you right for getting into so many street gang fights, you rascal. Uh, go to school, kid. Uh, Tyrone says, Pogo Man is most dangerous. Um, I could see that. Ah, oh, darn it. Don't, don't, don't you peck me in the eyes or steal my... If you steal my hamburger, you jerk, I'm gonna beat you over the head with a baseball bat. Dang! Oh my gosh! All right, all right. McClinton, come on! 
This is my level one bad guy. I'm level five now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> she just had a death by a thousand pecks in the eyeballs. Which is actually does sound very deadly. <laughs> uh, can I carry any more things? Throw something away? No. <laughs> Leave the cookie behind. Yes. Uh, excuse me. I just start coughing. Um, I think I've tried to say this multiple times. And I think I even said it when the stream was in awful condition and no one could hear or understand anything I said. Those two bottles behind me are the hot sauces for the hot sauce challenge that I'm going to do if I reach 600 subscribers by the end of February. If I reach the end of February with 600 subscribers, I will drink half of one of those bottles. And these are the bigger bottles, too. Like, full-size bottles. Five ounces. Uh, and if I manage to get 700 subscribers, I'll drink a whole bottle. And if I manage to get 1,000, I'll drink both bottles. Uh, if... I only end up drinking one. Recruit this bird into your party. Yes, I really should recruit that bird into my party because he's really kicking butt. Like, oh my gosh. Like, he's not doing much damage, but dang. Which I wish I could get other characters in, into my... Uh, whoops, 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 whoops. Uh, sell some things I don't need. Yes, okay. So we're going to go ahead and sell some cookies. I'll make sure to eat a cookie, too, because I actually need... Uh, I need the... Uh, that's all I need. I need the 5 HP, or the 6... I think 6 HP is what you get from a cookie in general. Okay, yeah. Maxed out! Uh, let's see. Ian says, I almost hope you don't get 600 subs. Or, sorry, Super Keenon says, I almost hope you don't get 600 subs because I don't want you to die. I'll be fine. It's just habanero Tabasco sauce. It's not that bad. It'll be okay. You will not have to worry none. It's going to be good. All right, so we'll go ahead and uh, beat this guy up. Then we'll go inside, fight, fight the fights in there, and then beat the boss, and then... That'll unfortunately likely be the, the end of the stream for today because I still have to get a video up for today and get some other things done. And the stream, although it's only been going for... Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Actually, I take it back. No, 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 no. I take it back. We're going until 11.30. We've got another hour of the stream left. Duh. I, I had scheduled until 11.30, but for some reason I was thinking 10.30. It was you. You beat up my buddy, didn't you? You better just beat it. I have to keep looking down at the at the pad to see what people are saying because the words actually trail on the, the screen past where my face is, which is somewhat unfortunate. Not something I actually wanted, but uh, I had so much trouble getting things to work properly that uh, that it was kind of <laughs> kind of just the way it ended up. How it be? Okay, do we want to throw something away? Yes. What do we want to throw away? Obviously, a cookie because hamburgers is better than cookies. Well, I don't know how I actually feel about that. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You sound like a real winner to me. Don't get lippy or I'll kick your butt. <laughs> I love the arcade. It's super fun. Let's see what this guy has to say. Frank has an incredibly powerful weapon. If you get your hands on it, I bet you can stand against any enemy. Spit, spit, spit. Saliva, spit, spit. Do you want some gum? Get your own twit. <laughs> When you buy an item that should be equipped, do you bother to actually equip it? <laughs> I gave you a hint to my own. I gave a hint to my own enemy. I'm such a rockin' dude. I obviously have total confidence in my own ability. So, you ready to get get it on, Specky? I will take whatever you can dish out, skater punk. You can't stop Moops the Great. Ha ha! All right. So I should be able to eat. Uh, some food now and get to full health and then uh, should be on to fight uh, Frank before really too much longer. To tell you the truth, I like drinking tea and eating fresh vegetables, but that doesn't fit my super cool image. I guess I just have to accept this about myself. <laughs> this game is ultimately about accepting yourself for who you are. Hey kid, do you want to become a member? Yes, come back after you finish Earthbound. <laughs> Don't be such a snob. So yeah, it's one of those situations where they actually reference Earthbound within the game as though it is a game that exists. And is 
This seems fun. I wanna I want to play Earthbound in Earthbound. Can I do that? Can someone tell me how to play Earthbound in Earthbound? I feel like Earthboundception would be a good game. Okay. So now we'll eat our last cookie just to boost up a little bit, which is not quite full HP, but ah, we can handle Frank. We can handle Frank. I'm Frank. You are? Come on. Can you at least say a name? No, I am a silent protagonist! Some of the best music in the game! I can play this bass line, actually. I've played it before. It's actually, uh... Identical to the bass line in You Ain't Nothing But A Hound Dog and Johnny Be Good. Got my headphones on all whoopsie. Now I messed up my pop filter. I have things going on. The stream's a wreck. Oh my gosh. <sighs> <laughs> Welcome back, Dave Microwaves. Yeah, Super Keen on. I am super into that. Uh, super into that theme too. Fail-proof Frank can't be beaten. <laughs> and this is Frankie Stein Mach Two. Ah, oh, yes, this music generated a burst of steam. Okay, a burst of steam, I think, means it's getting ready to do a big attack. Or I think it just means he's about to attack in general, so... Oh, oh! Dang you, Frankie Stein! That was a hard hit. I think we can take him. I think we're gonna be all right. We're finishing him off this turn. No, never mind. I was wrong. I we're not finishing him off that turn. I think I've got enough for one more life up. Throw a punch. All right, take him down. Take him down. Boom! We did it. We did it. <laughs> Super Keaton says, also really into this mobster with knives fighting your preteen main character. And then he has a robot. <laughs> Excellent point, my friend. This is my first defeat. Fail-proof Frank is now just failure Frank. I know you've been asking around, so I'll tell you about Giant Step. It seems to be a quite powerful spot. Some kind of special power is stored there that allows certain people to perform wondrous feats. However, a monster sucked up all that energy at that spot. It's difficult to get to Giant Step. That's all I know. I suggest you collect more information on your own. The entrance to the pad leading to Giant Step is behind the Turing Entertainer Shack. Perkle, the mayor of Onnit, has a key to the shack. Moops, you've become stronger than I. Your adventure is just beginning. He said that that was all the information he could give me, and then he gave me a lot more information, like a surprising amount. Ah! Yeah? <laughs> I like how they still programmed the sharks to now chase me down and accost me, but just to say hi, basically. <laughs> Okay, what, what does our inventory look like? Uh, okay, so that's good. Um, let's go to the hotel and stay the night. Uh, hotel's up there. If I remember correctly, the Onnit Hotel is actually really expensive, like surprisingly expensive. Welcome to the automatic teller machine. Select a transaction. Withdraw. Your balance is $255. So let's just get out 90 bucks. Because I think it's like 50 or 60, maybe 40. But our nightly rate is not cheap, but we all oh, but we have clean sheets and rooms are secure. I'm sure you understand that this keeps us very busy. Welcome to the hotel Lomit. A one night stay will cost you $35. Would you like to stay? Yes. Have a nice stay. Dave Microwave, says, Dave Microwave says, well done. Thank you, Dave. And Supercan says, do you ever get a Sherman Hemsley vibe from the guy behind the hotel desk? Yes. <laughs> if I remember who Sherman Hemsley is, then definitely yes. Can you believe it? A group of ruffians spit their gum on me as I was passing by. I'm sorry about that. Good morning. Here's your free copy of Morning Newspaper. Here's today headline in the Onnit Times. Complaints about sharks gang suddenly melt into thin air. That's because I kicked their butts! 
You took, uh, you look like you're a real target for the sharks. You better be careful. I am not a target for the sharks. The sharks are a target for me. Well, I feel like, despite our rough beginnings of this stream, it has really started moving a lot smoothly. A lot more smoothly. A lot smoothly. A lot smoothly than there it were! So, I'm pretty happy with, uh, with, with how things are going now. I probably will have to, uh... Tracy started working part-time for Escargo Express. Here, I'll let you talk to her. And call me when you have some time. Oh, you don't have any free time. Well, here's Tracy. Oh, this is Escargo Express. Oh, is that you, Moobs? Big bro? It's me, Tracy. I'm working part-time for Escargo Express. What can I do for you? Oh, okay, cool. Uh, pick up. You want us to store something for you? We'll send someone over immediately to pick it up. I forgot. Oh my gosh. It's been a long time since I've played this. And I love how like deliveries and stuff work in this game. It's ridiculous. So there isn't a bank. There isn't a traditional bank in Earthbound. You call a guy and he sprints up and he's all like, Hello, this is Escargo Express. Your delivery charge is $18. You can cover the bill, right? Yes. What do you want me to take? I can take up to three things. Okay, uh, I want you to go ahead and take uh, nothing. Oh, I see. Please try us again. I, I just wanted to show you guys that really is what it was. I thought maybe I might have something I wanted him to store, but I did, I did not. I, I didn't. So. Okay, so now we have to go to Town Hall and talk to Mayor Perkle. Keenan says he is having fun. He's glad that we pushed through the technical difficulties. Yeah, and the good thing is that, uh, you know, now uh, the next time I stream, I'll know exactly how to set it up. Because um, it's basically just a good handful of weird, small problems that got in the way. You be at the Sharks. You're the talk of the town. Mayo Perkle is waiting to see you. Thank you so much for all your help. In the next election, please give a speech supporting Mayor Perkle. <laughs> hey, 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 I'm Mayor B.H. Perkle. It's so nice to meet you. You beat up the town bullies, punched them up big time, kicked their butts, bit their heads off, spit in their eyes, and made them wet their pants. Then you forced them to promise not to make any more trouble. Thank you. What? You want a key to the Turing Entertainer Shack? For someone as great as you, giving you the key would help keep the town peaceful. However, if you encounter a dangerous situation, please don't ask me to take any responsibility. I'll be able to avoid any responsibility, right? Yes. You're such a smart kid. Here's the key to the shack. I was afraid that my inventory was full. I actually couldn't remember from like two seconds ago whenever we looked at my inventory if I had any space or not. <laughs> Also, looking down at the gamepad, like, I don't, and you guys won't be able to see it, but it just looks so crisp and clean on this gamepad. It's so nice. I love it. Like, because it's such a small screen, it just looks so beautiful. Uh, I'm really hoping that uh, they start releasing games like this on the Switch, because I really would love having, like, the Earthbound series on Switch. Like, like if they release one, two, even on Squid, I would get them. But if they release like all three of them in one package, oh my gosh, I could not run to the store fast enough. Well, really, I would probably purchase it digitally. But you know, giant step north at the top of the mountain. Danger! Do not enter. I'm getting you, bird. I got the bird. Bird's dead. Boom! I won. Moops game three experience. Enemy left a present. Inside the present was a cookie. Moops took it. Okay. This shack was locked by someone from City Hall, so he can't use it. The reason it was closed was because a punk named Frank may have trashed the place. What a drag. We can't even change our clothes, and hotels are too expensive. The door is locked. Well, I've got a solution for a locked door. Moops use the key to the shack. The door open. And uh, now I've got to carry around the key to the shack for the rest of the game. Maybe. Can I toss it? Oh, no, it's, it's gone. Some of the key items in the game, like, you legitimately can't get rid of them. So, it's it's a huge pain. Okay. So, you have to call Escargo Express and have them come and get, get them from you. Okay. Oh, wow, the frame rate. Oh, gosh, the frame rate. You know there's going to be a lot of bad guys when the frame rate does that. Yeah, I won! Ah, come on, how is that not a green? 
All right, slugs. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta wonder. So, these are little bugs, and they're weaker than Buzz Buzz was. So, if these are little bugs, and they're weaker than Buzz Buzz was, and Buzz Buzz was able to be killed by a single, like, newspaper swat, a bomb? I have never gotten a bomb at this point in the game before. That is the craziest thing I've ever seen. I love how too, so you'll see in this fight with, with the Rowdy Mouse, they love to play with different types of ways that bad guys could work. Like, they played with mechanics a lot in a weird, interesting way. The Rowdy Mouse has a low chance to hit and low damage, but he has a very high chance to crit, which is really interesting. So he, like, he crits on you constantly and fights as long as, he, as, long as he's hitting. And uh, you didn't really get a chance to see that because he got really unlucky. Uh, every time he hit me, but Moops level is now seven. Offense went up by one. Defense went up by one. Guts went up by one. Vitality went up by one. IQ went up by one. Maximum HP went up by one and a two. Maximum PP went up by three ones. <laughs> I was afraid something like that would happen, but I'm not too worried about it because they're all pretty weak and trying to use uh, psychic moves on me that they fail at every time, so that's pretty fun. I, rem I remember getting to this point in the game before without getting any new equipment and without really gaining very many levels, and it being insanely difficult. Like, grinding was not something I understood the first time I played this game. This game taught me how to play JRPGs. Like, before this point in my life, I just, just didn't, didn't know. I love fighting those groups of enemies because they're usually really weak, but whenever you stack all of them on top of each other, they get you get like a ton of XP from them. All right, the black antoids. These guys are actually a little bit of a challenge for weaker bad guys um, because they do that. They're going to keep trying to heal each other while I'm beating them up, even though I can almost kill them in one hit. Come on! All right, maybe I'll get lucky on this one and... Okay, well, I say get lucky, but the problem is now I'm probably going to die before I can do anything else. So let's go ahead and eat a hamburger. Hey, Super Keenon, do you remember offhand, uh, do items always go first, or does it just increase increase your chances of getting to go first if you... Ah, no, I broke, I broke the fourth wall again! Do items always go first, or do they just have an increased chance of going first? I can't remember. It's been years since I've played Earthbound, so even though it's one of my favorite games and I'm actually, like, reasonably good at it, it's just been a long time. <laughs> Super Keenan says he definitely doesn't remember uh, if it makes you go first or not. Um, okay, so there's the smash attack. So you, you'll see a lot more smash attacks out of Rowdy Mice than almost any enemy you see. But they're just not as powerful as other people's smash attacks. They're just way more likely to happen. So he can beat the crap out of you if he gets lucky over and over and over and over again. Um, okay, we can keep going. We don't, we're not too worried about it now because this is going to be slugs. They deal two damage apiece. So I'm not worried about it. Also, Dave Microwave said A1 and A2. Uh, laughing about my uh, what I said whenever I leveled up a minute ago. I just just getting into the rhythm of it saying everything went up by one, and then suddenly things weren't going up by one anymore, and I still had to figure out a way that it was still one. <laughs> I won! Hi, it went up by one because I won. Oh baby, offense went up by seven. Defense went up by one. Speed went up by one. Guts went up by one. Luck went up by one. Maximum HP went up by three. PP went up by one. Moops, realize the power of no dying a. <laughs> uh, that's right. The name of our power. Hello, John Lavoli. We are live and in color. Technicolor. Well, technically not Technicolor, but technically we are in color, so. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. We just gained our, our end-all, be-all move, uh, which we have named No Dying, because that's kind of our goal in the game is to not die, so. Okay, this room, which is just filled with a single bad guy because of reasons. 
But hey, he's good for practice, because he just pops whenever we walk in. All right, let's leave here. Oh, I love this. Now we're making good time. We're going to be able to... Well, this is a good way to grind some experience. I wonder how many times we can do this. How, how much do we need for another level? Maybe we can just go ahead and... Oh, we'd have to do it ten times for a level? I'm not willing to. I'm not willing to do that. Besides, we'll gain a level much faster if we're just fighting all the other bad guys up here. We're not going to do it. We ain't going to worry about it. <laughs> Jordan, Jordan says, uh, and stereo where available in reference to whenever I was saying we were live in Technicolor. All right, come on. Come at me, bro. Bam! Smash! Nathan, smash! Nathan, angry. Not, not really. I'm not really angry. I don't really get angry that often. <laughs> if you want to see me get angry, though, uh, like if you're interested to know what that might look like, you should totally check out whenever I played uh, uh, Getting Over It with Bennett Foddy because I didn't actually get that angry with Getting Over It. I actually got angry with myself because I actually lost game footage. Adam says coming soon to own on DVD and uh, video and DVD. <laughs> Come on, die! I kind of cut that one a little close. If he had done a smash attack, then I probably would have died. <laughs> uh, David Rick says, have you ever played a game called 40 Wings for the PS1? Such a good game. It's Kind of reminiscent of Banjo Kazooie, it's pretty much inspired by, uh, pretty much inspired Dracula's Castle, which is one of Dave's games that I played on my channel. Go check it out. Uh, I played uh, some of his demos of it, and uh, it's a wonderful game. So go check out uh, my videos of uh, Dracula's Castle and see what Dave Microwaves is all about, because he is an awesome game creator. He's got he's got this really great way of using like polyg polygonal graphics to be super creepy. Uh, so there's a cold remedy inside, but I'm full on HP, and I don't think I have very many goods left that I really feel like throwing out. Like, oh, I've got one more cookie. Okay, we'll throw out a cookie for a cold remedy, I guess. But mostly because it's just worth more, not because I really want it, because I don't really need it. Okay, there's a bug over here, so let's take out the bug really quick. Bam! Continuing the best music ever. Bring it on. Go ahead, little rat. Make my day. Make it! 38 HP. Bam! He became tame. I win. I win. I always win! So uh, I'm going to start uh, doing more live streams. I'll probably be doing two or three live streams a week. Ooh, let's try out no side no dying boom yeah this is the way to do it of course now i don't have any pp left but i don't give a dime but i got plenty of items left and that was way easier moves levels down nine i tell you went up by one iq went up by one maximum hp by 12 maximum pp by four i have enough for one life up now which is good that's Really, all I cared about was having enough for at least one life up for the boss battle. Um, it's like, isn't there a bug here? Like, why am I not getting into this fight? Okay. Smash! Boom! Uh, Austin J. Mori, hello! Uh, he says, love Banjo-Kazooie. Sorry I'm late to the stream. I'm at work. Ah, you're totally fine. Uh, I, you, you don't, not hurting my feelings at all. Uh, I'm actually happy you were a little late, uh, because the stream started out really bad. Like, not even just like me, because I, I obviously am, you know, me. Uh, so that was bad enough. But <laughs> on top of me being me, uh, me also messed up how hooking things up went and what settings I needed pushed. And so even though the stream looked good on my side, apparently the sound was ruined. And YouTube, YouTube's bad about in their live streams. They don't actually give you the information that you need to fix problems most of the time. Occasionally they say, hey, the video looks good, but the sound's off. But most of the time they're just like, now you're good. You look good. You just keep on good work. No, no problems. And then everybody's like, why do you look like you're having drugs? Well, he did manage to hypnosis me, but it wore off immediately. <laughs> 
Um, but yeah, I'm planning on getting into streaming uh, up to three times a week. Uh, so we'll be able to see more of uh, Earthbound. Uh, I want to do some Bethesda games streaming. Uh, I want to get into some, some uh, more obscure stuff that uh, people are less likely to have seen that I love. Like, uh, for instance, I want to get into the Custom Robo series because there's two or three Custom Robos in America. I've played two of them, and they're just amazing. I just love them so much. So uh, we're going to give that a try. Um, you're going to see probably two streams a week on YouTube and maybe one stream a week on Twitch because I'm going to try to get into Twitch uh, as well. Um, you know, between the way that things have been going with YouTube, I need more uh, I need more watch time on YouTube in order to actually make my channel viable. And the best way to do that is through live streams. But I also don't want to put all my eggs in one basket. And so uh, Twitch also makes sense. So I figured I'd just get much better at streaming in general if I just ran a few streams a week on both platforms. And then by the end of it, I'll I'll be hopefully moderately successful at, at streaming. And I didn't realize I had actually engaged him before I turned around. It looked like he wasn't moving, so I was going to turn around and fight the one who was coming after me. And instead, I just let him get me from behind, which is pretty irritating. Whew, that was close. You have half a second to turn back around whenever a fight starts uh, before it chooses whether or not you're getting hit in the back or not. So, took care of that. Okay, so the thing to do now is to come into my goods and eat a hamburger to get to full HP because I'm closing in on the mac the main bad guy. Now there's another hamburger in here, so we're still full on inventory, still have plenty of hamburgers. <laughs> they tried to catch me off guard, but it takes it takes a lot more than that to catch me in the morning off guard. There's a cookie. I don't I don't want a cookie. Yep. Uh no. Then you'll leave the cookie behind. Yes I will. But the one thing I wish they had is an option to eat the cookie. You know, basically say, oh, well, you know, there's a cookie left behind. You don't have inventory for it. Would you like to eat it? I understand, though, that that would change the balance of the game. So, you know, it makes sense that, that they would just throw that in offhandedly. So, all right. So we are here at the first real official boss of the game. Frank was technically a boss, I guess. But this one is is the area boss. So you finally got here. This is the first your sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me. If you dare. Okay, so first things first, we're going to go ahead and do Sino Dian uh, to not only deal some major damage to him, but also kill his little cohorts behind him. They actually hid one behind him so that he's difficult to see. Uh, it's, they, they do a good job of that. Uh, so now we're going to heal ourselves because we are probably going to be close to dead by the time that goes off. So there, that was good. And we'll use Sino Dian one more time. Boom! Okay, now we should be able to get one attack off. Oh, he's a shield. So that was good timing on my part to get all of my Psy attacks out whenever he was still, uh, before we put up his Psy shield. Oh, he's Psy Magnet. Gosh darn it. That's really unfortunate. Because, uh... Now I don't have enough to do a, another heal. But I still have... BAM! Smash attack! Eevee game tame! Woo! <laughs> uh, oh, hey, Glenn. Yes, I do already have the hot sauce. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, Super Keenon says, Sanctuary boss. This is one of my favorite boss themes in the game. Also, I like that you're fighting in front of the Death Star cannon. <laughs> And then Glenn Strawn says, I see you already have the hot sauce. So, yeah, we leveled up from that, which is great. Because um, we were already pretty... I believe we were already a pretty good level for uh, for this. So, for us to already be such a high level and then get here and gain another level, it was really nice. This is a very good place for us to be. Oh, uh, Super Keenom, were you referencing by saying glad that you're fighting in front of the Death Star Cannon? What exactly were you were you <laughs> referencing? 
Moops caught a glimpse of a small, cute puppy. Moops Soundstone recorded the melody of a giant step. Okay, and then we're also fully healed and, and full on PP again. So, uh, so for those of you who don't know, the whole uh, conceit of Earthbound is for us. Look at his knees. Look at the way his knees bend whenever he <laughs> The whole idea of Earthbound is to uh, get to these different locations, record these sounds, and then use them to save the world, basically, from the alien overlord Gigas, who is uh, kind of started his his reign of terror now, and in within ten years he will have basically taken over the whole world. So that's that's kind of the what's going on. Oh, oh, you mean, oh, okay, I see. So Super Keyon says the crazy background pattern in that boss fight definitely look what it looks like and definitely not insane. Uh, Dave says, well, gotta go. Good luck, Nathan. Thanks for stopping by, Dave. I'm glad you were here. I have had fun, enjoyed you being here. So thanks for stopping in. We'll see you next time. And I'll, I'll be playing uh, your Scooby-Doo game soon. So, oh, we gained another level. Defense went up by two. Defense, uh, offense went up by two. Defense by one. Vitality went up by one. IQ went up by one. Maximum HP by 12. Maximum PP by four. Start this fight. We're just getting all this free XP. That's great. Ah, uh, yes. That one almost went poorly for me. Surprise opening attack. Okay. So, now we're going to go ahead and... Uh, Glenstron says, I like how everyone has a different way of saying Gigas. Yeah. I've, I've heard it a lot of different ways. I've heard it Gigas. I've, I've heard it... Gigas. Gigus. I've, I've heard lots of different ways of pronouncing it. Um, I've always thought it was Gigas. Uh, really, it's one of those things where, you know, you see it as a little kid... And you kind of assume that that's how it's pronounced, and you just run with it. And then for the rest of your life, that's just what you see whenever you see that, you know. And I think that's a huge part of why different people pronounce it differently, is that so many of us started playing this game whenever we were little. So it just made sense for it to be... Uh, we just continue the way we, we saw it whenever we were a kid. So, Sino dying! Hey! Uh, Super Keenan says Grey Goose, and Glenn Strawn says also automatically winning easy battles is a great feature. It really is. Like, the fact that uh, you can grind for small amounts of XP by just touching a bad guy and him literally exploding uh, is fantastic. And the fact that if you bump into a small bad guy is really, uh, and then he just dies instantly is great. Also, they run away from you! Like, when you're in areas where you're fighting bad guys that are... Hey, you! The board says do not enter. Couldn't you read it? Yes, yes, I could. So you didn't want to read the sign, huh, kid? Get your butt to the Onnit police station later. Um, And yeah, that's that's something that I love about this game, is the enemies like behave in reasonable ways. Um, the AI is great in combat, first of all. But also, look at this bird. He's really afraid of me, and he's flying away from me right now. The dogs... Look at the dog. Dog's fleeing from me in terror because he knows that I'm literally going to crush him. <laughs> so, uh, it makes me curious to, like, wander around in the forest every time I play this game. Because occasionally I do find things that I never found before. And so I just constantly, I'm like, huh, I wonder if I could find something else that I never found before. Um, I know there's a house somewhere in town here that you can buy and then it has, like... Uh, someone's diary in it or something and you can get like information out of it like there's a lot of cool things oh, a lot of cool things let's see i think the police station's on the south side of town like the complete south side i think that's right so let's head down that way let's also read the sign if you have any trouble consult your kind-hearted mayor there's a butterfly up here do we need any hp before we grab that so the butterflies they heal your side uh, so they give you PP, and I believe they give you 20 PP whenever you grab one. So it's a it's a smart move to double check that you don't need PP before you pick one up, and that you don't need any HP before you pick one up. Because if you need HP but you don't need PP, then you go ahead and heal. Or if you need less than 20, then you go ahead and heal, and then and 
and then do that. So it's super fun. These are some of the only houses in the game that you can't enter are ones that just straight up don't have doors. There are so many houses you can go into in this game. And yeah, it's really, really cool. Uh, let's see what she says. I heard there's a guy that stops to reach each bulletin board he he encounters. Then he says, check a Rooney. Is that you? Uh, no, I don't want to talk to you. I want to look at the billboard. Oh, I'm not allowed to look at this billboard. This billboard is not lookable. Check a Rooney! Check a Rooney! Rice a Rooney! The San Francisco treat! Uh. Uh. Oh, my brother's on. Uh, he says, hey, fan man. Uh, Austin J. Murray says, I commend you for live stream. My first video up on the channel was live streamed, and I hated how it turned out. <laughs> So you're here. You're the little the liquid that came back from Big Step. How you now? You listen here. Don't enter means just that. Do not enter. Got that? And furthermore, blah 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 blah. It's usually those tax evaders who blah 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 blah. We don't enjoy blocking off the roads, you know. Blah blah blah. It's usually the local whiners that make a big deal about emergencies and meter rides. Blah 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 blah. <laughs> I'd rather be working as a parking meter cop. It's just been too busy lately. I'm sick of it. Why is the road to Tucson closed? An emergency, of course. At times like this, kids like you should be playing Nintendo games. <laughs> Let me just shamelessly plug ourselves right here. Actually, that was that was Earthbound plugging Nintendo. Want to go to Tucson? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Follow me. Ah... Uh, uh, Glenn says, have you heard about the fan-made Mother 4 that's in development? Well, it's not being branded as Mother Game anymore for legal reasons. I had heard something about that way back in the day, uh, but but uh, show me what you got. See if you can get past five of my best men. Um, I had heard something about it, but I just hadn't seen it for seen anything about it for myself. Yeah! Hey, small fry, you must be shaking in your boots. No. I'm not really afraid. You're not as strong as the big guy that I fought. Also, I have over 100 HP, which I think is more than I've had at this point in the game before. But you, you really are doing some very reasonable damage to me. I'll give you that, sir. But I think I just, bam, knocked you back to normal. Now, it's kind of interesting. Like, normally knocked them back to normal is what it says whenever you've kind of like knocked sense into somebody who's like had their mind messed up by Gigas. So it kind of makes me wonder uh, if, uh, Perhaps the police here are also being kind of controlled by Gigas. Your average policeman is stronger than any superhero. Any superhero! Superman? The My left foot. He's not as strong as an average policeman. Oh, dang. That was very painful. Um, we're going to go to goods and eat a hamburger. Oh, no! 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 Maybe I should have been afraid of the police. That might have been a good idea. It's some of us streaming. You get bad luck when you stream. <laughs> okay, well. I need $5 so that I can sleep at the hotel. I lost $30 from being dumb. So. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure we have quite a bit of money in our account. Yeah. <laughs> Five dollars isn't that big a deal right now to us, so I, or thirty dollars isn't either, so I'm not too worried about it. Police violence, yeah, police brutality, guys. I was literally drugged back there, and then they like had a gauntlet of police officers beat the crap out of me. Moops, moops, moops. I'm a friend who you have never met before. My name is Ivory. Can you hear me calling you? I am Ivory. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. Okay. Well, we wanted to come back here and see what the newspaper said anyway. Good morning. Here's your free copy of the morning newspaper. Here's today's headline. The Onnit Times. Tamer of the Red Sharks. A boy in a red cap. Well, that's, that was a very short story. I guess it's the headline. I guess that's what it was. All right. So we'll go ahead and uh, mercilessly destroy the police force of the entire town. And then, hey, like a garbage can. Oops, I grabbed the trash. Well, let's see. There was just plain old garbage in the trash can. <laughs> what, what, what did I expect? What did I expect? Food? Consumable food that I would actually want to eat that came out of the garbage? Of course not. That would be stupid. 
Okay. Let's just skip through this. Uh, so Super Keenon told me to use strawberry at, at, in my... Oh, let's see. Gamer nerd who needs help. I saw Earth done, and I saw Nate, and I clicked immediately. <laughs> and then Glenn said, so what did you name your party? Uh, we've got Mooks. Uh, we have Ivory. Um, Dross is Jeff. And Coop, I think, is what I named Poo. Because I still want to get in the Ooh the and the P family. So... Yeah, Super Keenan told me to go with Strawberry, which I never go with Strawberry, and so it, it makes me feel like I've got a dead party member at all times, because things turn red whenever you have dead party members, so. Alright, so he starts with a crushing chop. Alright, we're not going to lose this time. I, I refuse to lose. We'll get one more hit off on him, and then we're going to immediately heal ourselves in the next fight. <laughs> um... Because I guess, basically, I just can't let myself drop below half health in these fights is really what it comes down to. Oh, okay. Gamer Nerd Who Needs Help is Pretty Picture. Oh, I wondered why I hadn't heard from you in a little while. And I wondered who Gamer Nerd Who Needs Help was. Because they started commenting on things randomly. And I was like, oh, okay, well, I got, got a new subscriber. But... But then I also noticed that you hadn't uh, said anything in a while, so it's it's good to hear from you. Glad to hear you're still around and stuff. I was a little afraid that I had done something that uh, made you decide to stop watching. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, so we got some XP from that. Uh, Super Keenan says that strawberry is for fans of danger. Uh... Back when I played this game, I entered water as my favorite food, says Glenn <laughs> That's pretty great. Uh, don't let the mayor's compliments give you a big head. Bring it on, fat boy. Hey! Hey! No fat shaming! This is a child! You are a grown man. You're a police officer. You should be someone who he can look up to and respect, not somebody who makes fun of him for his weight. Also, I don't think Ness looks that fat. I don't, I don't, maybe it's a compliment. Maybe he's referring to a fat boy, like, you know, like a, a nuclear explosion. Boom! Cameron <sighs> uh, Nerd Who Needs Help says, Nah, man, I love you. Well, thank you. That is so kind of you. I'm, I'm really glad. Oh, he just said he should have used his nuclear suplex. He actually was referring to... <laughs> yeah, okay. I feel better now. He was not making fun of me for being fat. Going to take you apart right here, right now, baby. Fat man! Yeah, I think... Was it the fat man and the little boy or something like that? I can't, can't remember it entirely. There was, there was two of them. They were, one of them was called the Fat Man, and one of them was called the Little Something. Adam Lyle says, so maybe the police officer was saying you were better than the bomb. Uh, Glenn Strawn says, shouldn't he be a little boy? Uh, Adam says, you are the atomic bomb. Well, thanks. Thank you. Yeah, I, yeah, I think it, yeah, it should be the the little boy and the fat man were the names of them. So calling him fat boy was good. <laughs> That's it, buddy. You can forget about me. I'm going to call for my boss. <laughs> he watched me just beat up like six cops in a row, and he was like, maybe I should invite him. There's no way I can beat you in a straight competition. So get ready for my super ultra mambo tango foxtrot martial arts. Captain Strong attacked. All right, well, let's go ahead and start this off with a bang. Grappled me in a submission hold. Psy no dying. 80 points of damage. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and eat a hamburger. He's on guard. Well, being on guard didn't help him none because I was eating food and now I'm going to blast him with my mind. Boom! <laughs> yeah, Adam says the fat man and the little boy. Yeah, that's that's what I thought. So yeah, he was he was definitely making a reference, but he kind of fused them together for some reason. Wow, this was a good level. Everything went up by two. 
moves from realize the power of shield a i'm actually very excited to play through this game because uh i didn't think you would do so well against the mighty onnit police force you want me to open the road to tucson hang on for a sec i'll radio my staff and give them the word uh i didn't whoops touch touch the touch screen and that's what happened um i didn't expect uh, i'm sorry lost my train of thought I really am excited to play this game through again because specifically I haven't played it since I was an adult and so uh, I'm excited to see how like actually knowing the strategies and using like defensive spells and things like that is going to help. So uh, let's see. Uh, Super Kanon said, man, I wanted more of that boss. Game of Nerd who needs help. He attack, he, pro he attack, he protect, but most importantly, he beats up small children for amusement of the audience. <laughs> Glenn Strawn says, who says violence doesn't solve anything? And Darth Bob says, all your base are belong to me now. Uh, <laughs> Strong here, read me. Hey, it's me, Captain Strong. Okay, listen, a kid named Moops will be there in a few minutes. He's a kid in a red cap. I want you to keep, I want you to open the road to Tucson for him. I know that. I know that. Don't ask me why. Just do it. That's an order. Strong out. And then Gamer Nerd, who needs help, says memes! <laughs> well, kid, I'm not going to question you now, but I do want to see you again. Good luck. I don't know if I've ever come back and talked to him at any point in the game. I feel like maybe that's a smart move. Psst. I'm not really one of the gang. I'm a cop, even if I don't look like it. He's an undercover cop. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> we don't really know for sure if he is or if he's just lying and saying that. <laughs> okay. Hey, aren't you moops? Well, I got the okay from Chief Strong to let you through. Take care of yourself. Alrighty. And so we start the lonely journey on into the next world, and all of the bad guys are afraid of us, which is wonderful. <laughs> okay, so they're more black antoids. So we got, we got the upper hand on them. We'll go ahead and kill them real quick. We killed half of them before they even got to attack, so. Maybe I should have slept before I left town, but uh, eh, it can't be that big of a deal, right? BAM! An undercover cop going undercover in a police station is what Glenn Strawn says. Yep, that's a very good point. Kind of one of the things I was thinking myself. Okay, uh, do I need any? No, I don't have anything for my body yet. Okay, uh, how long till I level up? I need 945 experience, so that's gonna be a while. So yeah, let's go ahead and eat our other hamburger just so that we have the HP we need to get into town. Ah, oh, I totally thought I would have gotten the, the back attack on that one. Yeah, keep calling help. Then there's just more of you, more fodder for my EXP. Yeah, keep wasting your turns on calling for help. I love this. <laughs> All right, yes. I guess there's probably a limit to how many they can call in. I'm not sure. There's a cookie. I took a cookie. I cook a cookie. Okay. Ooh, there's a there's a box. Moop opened a present. There's a hamburger. Moops takes it. Oh, I take the hamburger. Yes, I do. Okay. Uh, so we'll just make it on to Tucson and save there, and then we'll call it for this uh for this live stream. Oh no, there's two of them. Ah, sneak attack mushroom. All right, die, quick, die. Darn it! I was really, really hoping that I could get away without that. Smashed! Okay, so now I will teach you the ancient secrets of having a mushroom on your head in this game. So the thing that it does is it changes your control scheme occasionally, randomly. When it does, all you have to do is flip your controller around to whatever makes that new control scheme work and then you're good to go and i am gonna die i'm gonna i think i'm gonna die 
I'm gonna kill the blank, blank, blank and toads first. I can't remember if the mushroom does anything to me in combat. Does it make you confused sometimes? Like attack, attack other play, uh, other uh, player characters or? Yep, that's what it does. That's definitely what it does. Ah, okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, John, uh, Jordan Lovely says, I cook a tookie. Glenn Strawn says, there's some really awesome remixes of the battle thing on OC Remix. Uh, Dark Bob says, maybe he's on the child beating corrupt cop case. <laughs> uh, that makes sense. Super Keaton says, all your base is from Zero Wing. Because, of course, Super Keenon knows that. <laughs> uh, okay, so we totally got our, our butt handed to us. Uh, I guess I'm just really not paying enough attention slash being way overconfident in my abilities. Uh, and so I keep keep getting beaten unconscious. Uh, so, but, you know, it's whatever. I'm having fun. That's the point of a stream. Is, uh, Super Keenon says he's a keeper of important cultural lore. Yes, that exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good morning. Here's your free copy of the morning newspaper. Here's today's headline. The Onnit Times. Many citizens of Onnit suffer, suffer due to crooked real estate agents. Huh. Weird. I wonder what that's a reference to. Uh, I don't know. It doesn't seem like it's helpful information in any by any means. So, I would have thought maybe it would say something about small child decimates police force. Small child decimates police force! And my headline was a little too long for my record recording area. <laughs> oh, uh, so uh, Gamer Nerd Who Needs Help asks how my dad is. Um, so, uh, yeah, my dad is doing much better. Uh, he has, uh, from last I heard, got back the pathology, and they said there's no cancer, everything's cleared. Uh, he's recovering, uh, feeling much better. Um, hey, Darth Bob. Uh, how's our dad doing? <laughs> let me just, let me just go ahead and just tip my hand there. Darth Rob, uh, 26 is my brother, and he's watching the stream. So he probably knows better how our dad is than I do at the moment, because, uh, he sees him on a more regular basis since I live in, uh, New Mexico. So I'm sure he can, sure he can, uh, shine some light on that situation. He went to work last night. Wow. Okay. That's really good to hear. Him going to work is, you know, obviously a great thing for... No! I'm not! I don't want to feel strange. Stop it! Ah, yes! I got him in the green. Okay, we're not even... I'm, I'm, not, even, I'm not playing. I'm not playing around with these guys. Oh, I just killed myself! Oh, good. Ah! <laughs> uh, Glenn Strawn, I think that might be a reference to Ness or uh, Moop's dad's backstory. The reason he's always working is because he owes Pokey's dad a lot of money for the house. Oh, because Pokey's dad is the is a real estate person. Okay, I see. That makes sense. Okay. Yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense. What does the mole have to say? I'm not an enemy, I'm just a friendly mole. I'll tell you how to distinguish between your friends and enemies. It's easy to tell an enemy from by, uh, just by looking at them. Enemies look like humans with weird colored faces. Beware of them. However, you can't get more powerful if you avoid your enemies. So he was giving us that specific information because now that we're in Tucson, this is where the hippies start showing up. And, ah, uh, my controls went all wonky. Okay, so now we have to hold the, the gamepad sideways. <laughs> <laughs> but this works surprisingly well especially with the control stick because now I'm able to just oh yeah hey hey guys it's fuzzy pickles time yeah woo pictures taken instantaneously I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself okay get ready for an instant memory Look at the camera. Ready? Say, 
fuzzy pickles! Wow, what a photograph! It will always bring back the fondest of memories. Uh, let's see. Pokey's dad a lot of money for the house. Darth Bob says, and a devil worshiper or something. <laughs> Gamer Nerd Who Needs Help says, your family is fabulous. <laughs> thank, <laughs> thank you, Gamer Nerd Who Needs Help. I'm glad glad you like my family. Uh, my family is the best. Uh, I love them. Okay, let's see. So now we just, we're just going to track down. I'm holding the, the controller upside down now. Like the whole game pad is upside down. All right, let's just go to the hospital really quick and get this mushroom taken off of our head. And then we'll save and we will call it a day for the stream. So this has been super fun. I'm really glad that we finally got everything uh, all uh, fixed. I'm not busy right now. Shall I explain? How the po uh, no. <laughs> I actually am a busy person, she says. Okay, this is the guy we need to talk to about mushrooms on heads. Uh, so you may not believe it i am a healer i if you have some illnesses that cannot be treated at the hospital it's my job to cure you now that i notice could you sell me the mushroom growing on top of your head come on let's make a deal sell i'll pay you 50 dollars for each mushroom let's do it <laughs> do you need any help nope i'm good come back when necessary all right so we got rid of that so that's really really great Darth <laughs> bob 26 says i know right who else do you know that live streams on his phone at lunch to spend time with y'all? <laughs> yeah, my, my, my brother is currently watching this via his phone on his lunch break. <laughs> okay, well, now is time to go ahead and uh, call dad and save the game. Deposit $962 in your bank. Taking away what you spent, you should now have $1,022 in the bank. Why is my dad not sending this money to pay off the house? Like, really? All done. Your dear old dad was thinking about hanging the hay for the night. I created a record of your adventure this point. Good night. Sleep tight. You're, we're a great team, aren't we? Well, you should turn off the uh, you should turn the power off instead of just pressing reset. All right? <laughs> oh, uh, now it's just like here uh okay create restore point go ahead and save this on the wii u as well so Alrighty. well this is great music for us to go ahead and uh talk it out for a minute let me just uh, rearrange just a little bit and this will be better for the sound quality too hi how's it going i'm glad you're all here i'm glad you had fun glad that you were part of this adventure with me and uh look forward to more live streams this will be the only live stream this week but starting next week i'm gonna try to get uh two at least two live streams a week uh so we'll keep playing earthbound and i'll probably start on another game as well so uh look for them to be uh i'll probably do one morning live stream and one evening live stream a week just so that people who have different schedules can still experience the live streams um and because I definitely have some friends who are in other parts of the world and they need different different uh, different things allotted to them. So, uh, let's see. Let's just check the chat really quick. Uh, Gamer Nerd Who Needs Help says, I've never played the game, but I've always wanted to, or I've wanted to for so long. Glenn Strawn says, I wonder if the crack about resetting is a reference to how old Dragon Quest games need you to hold down reset to make sure the game saved properly. Uh, Super Keydown said, yeah, looking forward to watching more Earthbound. So, yeah, we're going to continue through Earthbound. That'll be the morning streams. Uh, and then we're going to also probably start in on some other stuff uh, in the evenings as well. Um, eventually, I'm also going to start Twitch streaming, but you'll still see at least two streams a week on YouTube. And you will still see my videos coming out once, at least once a day. So uh, this is not going to affect uh, my content at all, hopefully. <laughs> So thank you so much for being a part of the live stream and being here. And uh, I had way too much fun uh, live streaming with all of you. So hopefully I'll see you all again soon. And uh, for now, this is Nathan Blake signing off for Nathan Blake Games. Sayonara.